This is Public Health Week. It's the time when we provide a lot of education uh, to people all around the county and remind them that we're here to protect the health of everybody in Los Angeles County and to help them prevent disease. And all these booths have useful information on how to prevent HIV and sexually transmitted diseases, on how to improve your health through not smoking, on how to eat better so that we can help reduce our, our terrible epidemic of overweight and obesity that's leading to diabetes and high blood pressure, to be prepared for emergencies. We know in Los Angeles County we will have emergencies, earthquakes, fires, um, mudslides, tsunamis, and possibly bioterrorism or other forms of terrorism. We need everybody to have emergency kits for our family of food and water, medication and a flashlight and a battery operated radio and extra clothing and tools to turn off the gas for example and a family communication plan ways to reach members of the family if in fact the uh, these phones aren't working whether it's worrying about small turtles that can give salmonella whether it's worrying about how to, to prevent yourself from getting a, a, an easily transmissible disease the importance of vaccination how to reduce exposure to toxics we're here for everybody in Los Angeles County. Public health is for every resident. Our job number one is to protect you. We're with the Environmental Health Vector Management Program and we deal with all the rat problems in LA County. Uh, we'll go out and do inspections on properties as far as single family dwellings. Our uh, property owner, explain to them ex exactly what the situation is, educate them on how to control it, and help them along with the process of taking care of the problem. We also respond to complaints for rentals. Let's say the landlord doesn't want to help you with the problem, you're having a situation, we'll come out, do the inspection, verify the problem, and then respond to the owner and let them know what changes they need to do on the property to take care of that. Uh, we also do public areas. If you're ever walking in the park, if you're walking down the street in anywhere in Los Angeles County and see a rat, you could give us a call, we'll respond to the problem, verify that there is a problem, and then ask the appropriate agencies to handle the problem. That way we have a better and safer community in the area. Uh, this, is a, this is a display that we're having out here today. We're giving out our pamphlets. We want people to know that they could call us, get these inspections done at any time, and it's free to the, the county of Los Angeles. Um, this is also a display of our rats that we have here. These are the three basic rats that we're dealing with in LA County. <laughs> the Norway rat, the roof rat, and the house mouse. And this helps us to identify the species that we're dealing with in LA County. And by knowing the species, we know its behavior. Once we know its behavior, we can educate the property owner on how to control it. Because we got the triangle of life that we're looking for. The food source, the water source, and where they live, which we call Harbridge. Once we know this triangle, we could control that environment, change the environment for the better, and then we have control of the rodents. So feel free to call us at Environmental Health, and we'll be glad to go out there and help you with your situation. My name is Beatrice, and I work with Environmental Health. And today we're at here at Public Health. We're here at Public Health Week. We have a lot of information regarding food safety, um, housing. We have information for kids that we provide. In September, we do a campaign, National Food Safety. We go out and do presentations and outreach in the local schools. Hi, my name is Leticia Gonzalez. Um, I'm also part of the Division of Environmental Health, and um, a lot of the food safety information that we have is practices at home. We want to make sure that people are safe at home as well as when they're eating out. Um, yes, we do have the inspectors that go out for the grading of the restaurants, but we want you to be safe at home as well. We're also demonstrating information of where you should be eating, where is a safe place to eat if there is a permit or and if there's no permit. You should always be aware of uh, locations that do not have permits. You might be getting sick because there's no one out there inspecting. And um, we have really good booklets that have on um, healthy homes. It actually indicates a lot of practices that we always neglect and you should be out there checking on them to make sure you have a safe home and a safe family. Hi, I'm Jim Day. I'm the risk manager of the Department of Public Health for LA County. And this booth is to help people have information for disaster preparedness. And you need to know that there will be the big earthquake. Nobody knows if it's going to be three seconds from now or 300 years from now, but it's going to happen. The only rational and sane response is to prepare yourself and get ready to take care of yourself. It could be several days before people in our department and the other infrastructure can go to you and help you in your home. 
and so you need to help yourselves for at least three days. Hey, hi, my name is uh, Louis Jasper and I'm with the uh, Emergency Preparedness and Response Program for Public Health in the uh, Emergency Operations Unit and we have here our Emergency Operations Vehicle which acts as our uh, mobile command post. We respond to uh, fires or we respond to white powder incidents, uh, various incidents and then we're able to disseminate information back to our uh, Department Operations Center. Hello, I'm Dr. Emily Beeler, a veterinarian, and this is Inspector Jackie Chapman. And we are from the Veterinary Public Health and Rabies Control Program. All animal bites are reportable to our program, except for rabbit and rodent and squirrel bites. The reason for this is we track whether people have been exposed to rabies when a bite has been reported to us. Squirrels, rabbits, and rodents do not carry rabies. Did you know that last year 22 animals in the county tested positive for rabies? And they were all bats. Bats are the primary reservoir of rabies, for rabies in our county. Uh, and four pets, two dogs and two cats, handled live rabid bats last year. So everyone should vaccinate their dogs and cats for rabies to protect your whole family. We also educate the public about Hi, how are you? the connection between animal and human health. If you keep your pet healthy, you keep your family healthier. For example, if you train your dog and take it for walks and learn about dog behavior, you're less likely to have dog bites. Your children are therefore safer. You end up with an animal with fewer behavior problems, which means fewer problems for the family.